As a homeless man, I have terrible body odor. But it's not so much about my body, because my fingers don't emit a nasty odor. It's my armpits. I mean, down lower, I, I can kind of control that. Feet, you can cover them up a little bit. For, well, for me, okay, there are some people who have nasty feet and all that. But for me, I um, my feet seem fine. Um, it, it's more about my terrible armpit odor that can be offensive. I don't put any um, any kind of deodorant on, and I don't I don't even wash them really. Anyway, and when it gets warm, they really start stinking bad. So it's it's uh, something I want to keep people at a distance with. And being homeless and and uh, jobless. It allows me to avoid the confrontations because those are some of the most embarrassing confrontations you can come across when you have to work in close quarters with people. Um, it's hard for them to, to bring it up. They'll, they'll do embarrassing uh, gestures and co make embarrassing comments uh, in a way behind your back. But it's, it's tough to really address the person because you have to be... Um, sensitive to their culture in, in some ways. Although my culture is American, um, it's it's a different kind of American. Of course, there's all different kinds. It's not like I come from Turkey and celebrate the, the odor of the body as, as being a masculine thing. Mine's just uh, being a poor person's thing. But I, I, I don't... I don't like chemicals on my body so much. I want to keep it as natural as possible, too. And that would fall into the Amish culture. They they practice not uh, putting on any special perfumes or those oils, extracts, no extracts, and that's pretty good. Um, there's there's several several ways to uh, address it. Um, I mean, where where does body odor come from? But from sweating, from heat. Okay. Staying cool is very important. I don't stink as much in the winter time. Um, it's the summertime that's pretty nasty. And when I was in Wisconsin in the hot, humid weather, it was really bad. In this hot, dry weather, I don't know. I think it's a little bit better. I don't, I don't uh, perspire as much. It seems more controlled, but I mean, I haven't gotten feedback in a while. The last feedback I did get was a couple of weeks ago, though, when I was in. Um, Raymond, I went to the job center there, and um, there's a small, um, the Raymond has a small job center that's like more considered a branch of the job center, work workforce, or work source, or whatever they want to call it, in, in Washington, and it's just a small room, and there are just a couple ladies there, and when I walked in, um, within a matter of minutes, the, the, there was a there's a door that was closed and it was a stifle stifling room where there's no air circulation and they even warned don't wear heavy perfumes <laughs> but I wear heavy body odor so they ended up you know I, I obeyed the sign by not putting on any perfumes I I knew you know I, I pr practiced that well in advance but they still they opened up the door for some air circulation because of my my uh, my awful body odor. So I'm offensive to people. I'm, I'm keeping myself at a distance. And I, I come across many strangers. Well, sporadically come across strangers. Ones that don't really feel the need to tell me how bad I stink. Because they know they won't see me again any anytime soon. I don't know, at the library or at a grocery store or... Uh, the two most common places I go, pretty much. I'm generally outside where I'm, it's nice and windy. That's something that you want to consider, too. If you're going to have bad body odor, be in a windy area. Don't be in a uh, closed-off room like this car. I mean, it's, all the windows are closed right now. I wanted to drown in the sound, but I also drown in my, my terrible, terrible body odor. So, um... It's something that isolates. I mean, I, I can wash every so often. I take a wet paper towel and I'll wipe that area in my pits, which seem to help. I'll change my shirt as frequently as I can, but I want to save money on laundry soap. Um, yeah, 
So watch it.